Woo, LDWMAC. Boy, we got a rainy day out here today, don't we? Well, tell you what, folks. Let me go ahead and let's get this in. Um, I got to tell y'all, you know, Amanda Nunez retiring really, it kind of took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I knew Amanda was talking about it, you know, like years ago that she kept saying that she don't have nothing else to prove. And I'm going to tell you why I agree with her. <laughs> I agree with her completely. She don't have anything else to uh, to prove to anybody. Um, let's just be real. Amanda Nunez beat the shit out of Irene Adania. Okay? If that's how you want to, if, if I can describe it any other way, she beat the shit out of Adania. Adania was never even in the fight. Okay? She had a good counter punch here and there. But to be honest, Irene Adania looked confused. She looked like a damn deer in headlights. And I kept saying that this fight, she wasn't going to go away. Now, I got my reasons, okay? I, I got my reasons on Irene Adania. Oh, I have my reasons. And I feel like my reasons are what my reasons are, okay? But I knew that this fight would definitely go to distance. I knew it, okay? Can't get around it. Um, the fight did go to distance, but Irene Adania, she took one of the worst ass whoopings of her career. I think Holly Holm beat the hell out of her, and now Amanda Nunes. And, you know, people are trying to say, well, Irene Adania wasn't 100%. Well, damn, she was 100% this fight. Okay, what's the excuse now? Irene Adania got beat by a better skilled fighter. I actually thought that I was going to see the boxing and skill set of Irene Adania on display, but I didn't. I just saw somebody who was gun shy who was afraid of being hit. That's what I saw. I saw somebody who was afraid to get hit. I saw somebody who was afraid of the counters coming back at her. And Amanda Nunez <laughs> was punching like she was fighting for her life. I can respect that about Amanda. I, I, I don't like Amanda. I'm not a fan. But I do respect Amanda as a fighter. I respect her as a fighter. And I believe that Amanda Nunez is the best female to ever do it. A pound for pound number one all time. Okay? Amanda Nunez is the best female to ever do this MMA shit. I don't care whether you like it or not. I don't care whether you you think you got a fighter that's better. You give me a resume in WMMA that's better than Amanda Nunez. Give me one. Who got a better resume than Nunez? I mean, I'll wait. This woman beat Valentina Shevchenko twice. Whether you believe she won all both fights or won one fight don't matter. Okay? What the records show is that Amanda Nunez beat Valentina twice. She beat uh, Jermaine Durandame twice. She beat Jermaine twice, knockout artist. Survived that twice. Came back, beat Juliana Pena. She's the only woman in MMA to knock out Chris Cyborg. Now, Chris got submitted in her first uh, MMA bout. But I'm talking about she's the only person to knock Chris Cyborg the hell out. I'm talking about put Chris on the ground. Chris was motionless. She knocked Chris, moved the fuck out. She's the only person to do it. Okay, Nobody else has ever put hands on Chris Cyborg like Nunez did. Folks, the verdict is out. Amanda is that girl. She is that girl. She is that girl. And Amanda Nunez is out here. I mean, she hurting these women. She hurting them. I mean, after round two, Arena Adania was already broken. She was broken. And not, I mean... <laughs> The way she picked Irene apart with the damn leg kicks. I'm talking about she picked her apart. Adania couldn't even put pressure on that front leg. Like, Adania tried to come in there with a boxing stance. And she thought that a boxing stance would work against Amanda. It, it, it didn't work. Amanda dissected that. She kicked them legs from up underneath when she attacked that body. Like, Amanda Nunez even had good boxing in this fight. That I'm sitting here thinking she, Amanda be saying that boxing isn't her strong point. I mean, hell, it could have fooled me. Amanda added some new tools to her arsenal. The stab jab. I mean, y'all see how she was stabbing and jabbing and then getting back out of range? I've never seen Amanda do that before. This woman could probably fight till she's 40 and still get better. At age 40, she'd still be better. I just think Amanda Nunez is a special kind of talent. I don't like Nunez. Don't like her. Okay, but in that octagon, she's a special talent. And maybe we'll never see another Amanda Nunes type fighter again in the women division.
We might not. Amanda Nunes is a very, very, very special fighter. Extremely special. Um, special to the point to where I just right now, this version of Nunes, I don't think I, I don't think no woman can stop her. None. And I believe it. I just I don't think Amanda Nunes is beatable at this stage in her career. I just don't. I don't think and so Amanda retired. It totally took me off guard. Like I, I wasn't even expecting her to just retire. I just I wasn't expecting it. It just I'm like, damn. Now part of me, yeah, you know, get Amanda out of this so some of these young girls can get the get the you know, try to get a belt. But as I look at the 135 pound division, I'm kind of like, well, maybe not. Maybe not because I feel like these young girls, they don't want to work for it. If you guys really, really, really understand what I'm saying, I don't feel like these girls want to work for it. I feel like these girls, they want to get something for nothing. And so, I, I mean, who's left in that division that's formidable? I mean, you got Juliana Pena, Irene Adania, she's durable. And I think Juliana Pena, honestly, if you leave Juliana Pena in that division, I think Juliana Pena will get that belt back. I think she will get the belt back. I think she absolutely will get that belt back. Okay? Because the competition level and the talent level in that division is, is suspect. It's real suspect. <laughs> really, <laughs> the talent ain't, ain't, ain't shit in that division. If, if we got to be honest. It ain't. It's just what it is. The talent pool and the talent level ain't ish in that division. So, <laughs> Juliana Pena would have a time. And people saying, well, Arena can beat Juliana. I don't I don't think she can. I don't think Arena Aldania could beat Juliana Pena. That's just, that's my view. I don't think she can. I think even Juliana Pena, the ground game and the way Juliana Pena can take them shots, Arena Aldania ain't knocking out Juliana Pena. She ain't gonna knock her out. <laughs> she ain't gonna knock her out. She's not. And that's just how it is. That's just how that is. Juliana P ain't getting knocked out. So what what all is left for Arena to be taken down? And you know damn well Juliana gonna be able to keep the fight on the ground and maul her to death. So pretty much the belt has a clear path. The belt has a clear path. And Juliana Pena has a clear path to the belt if she wanted. She got a clear path. Who's going to stop her? You can argue, say, well, I think Irene. No. Irene can't handle takedowns. Now, I will say, though, Irene Adania, boy, when this woman is taken to the ground, she can get her ass up. That woman got up almost every damn time Amanda put on that put on her back. So Irene Adania has gained a lot of strength, a lot of strength. But it is what it is. It is what it is. <sighs> part of me wants Amanda to, to, to get the hell on. But the other part of me, I don't because these young girls, they're not going to be able to earn that belt. And beating Amanda Nunes means you earned that damn belt. 